is it, heroes. Start your mission. Why were superhuman powers, the meta-abilities known so casually as quirks, forced upon our kind? These quirks bring about nothing but tragedy. They are not a blessing on our world, but the beginning of its end. We humorize must take action. Even if it means dying the earth red with blood. Your leader's gone. Search the premises. I repeat, Humorize has placed bombs around the world. The weapons are set to explode in one hour and 52 minutes unless the heroes are able to find and disarm them worldwide. Heroes, success or failure of this task rests on your shoulders. This is it, heroes. Start your mission. Go! There's way! To protect the heroes. Our friends. And the world die! You humans are being threatened by the sickness of quarks. The gravely afflicted you are beyond our help. Thank you! I won't give up! Because Deku would never give up! All right, welcome back. Yeah, everybody. If you have tuned in to our My Hero Academia, I guess it's a bit at this point. We're doing a whole other episode and then some. <laughs> yeah, uh, My Hero Academia uh, review of season five, and y'all tuning the movie. We're here talking about My Hero Academia: World Heroes Mission, the third movie in the My Hero Academia series. Um, so what I want to do is first, um. Let's do a spoiler-free review. Sure. Let's talk about it spoiler-free. It won't be too long because there's plenty of spoilers that we can talk about. But we got access to this movie beforehand. We did. We got to do it. Yeah. Uh, very recently, we have thoughts, <laughs> which we're going to talk about throughout the rest of this episode. But right now, we can talk about how we kind of feel about the movie with no particular spoilers on the plot or anything of that. How did you feel about the movie? There's so much blood. You know, I loved it. <laughs> a lot of blood a lot of blood in this movie guys <laughs> no you're right you're right yeah there is definitely a lot of blood in this movie which is different than the regular my hero academia jazz yeah. so that's cool <laughs> i would say all right so in terms of talking about pros of this movie yeah i would say the pros is if you come to my hero academia for fighting you have come to the right movie you're here Be this movie has probably some of the best fights anime fights that i have seen all year it's jam-packed and everybody's involved absolutely everyone is involved to an extent, to an extent. but everyone is involved um but if you really came here to see the top three you know them ones the ones the poster said it all the original poster said it all really the original poster said it all um if you came to see them ones you get more than enough action because they are getting into it in this movie and all three of them have fights that are incredible yes uh, hardcore we get introduced of course to the villain flecturn not the best villain name but hey no, no. Uh, not something <laughs> i can stand but not even the best looking villain to be honest that's true too that's true too but... yeah his name and you know but it, it, he comes he does his thing um there's a lot of you know for the I love the moment where Deku becomes a national terrorist. Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, the tides have turned. <laughs> you know, it was, one of those, it was one of those situations. But overall, I would say the movie is, listen, if you're My Hero Academia fan and you come here to see the fights and you come here to see the plot and you come here and see how they will overcome such, um, tune into the movie because you're going to want to watch this and you're going to want to see how everything kind of goes. But other than that, if they had to say a con from the movie, it would honestly be the villains. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in our not spoiler free review, but I would honestly say the vis villains in my standpoint. Do you have a con in this movie, Jeff? Um, so you said the villains, like just them as like a a main I, I thought Ooh. it was like my turn's kinda ass, to be honest with you. Okay, so here's my thing. The whole the whole ideal 
um, like the the that premise of you know just quirks and quirks being like not something mm-hmm. that we need. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying not to spoil this shit. But like. It, the main the main antagonist right i mean has a quirk bro and it's a it's an op one like it's it's one of those things where you're like well bro how could you possibly be standing behind this <laughs> well listen the majority of these movies and then you see the majority of these villains and it even ties into the meta liberation army arc kind of thing if flexor could be redustrials like yo fake cousin yeah type yeah shit. for real for real you could definitely you get money. mixed up you got nose, you got a blue, you got blue, um, you got That's a little stuff. Blue. So you can see that but definitely it's an attack on quirks and quirk society. And of course the quirk singularity theory, which is ravaged. And, you know, I like that my hero academia has this one thing, this quirk singularity theory that is um, splitting the way people view quirks and their ideals about it and stuff like that. Like people are clearly on one side of stuff. It's like, listen, quirks are going to become too strong yeah. and overtake society. You need to end this shit now and there are people who are just like no but like quirks are like they're just the norm now so like and everyone's different and everyone's unique and everyone has their own little happy, happy clap clap so story even people who don't believe wow. in quirks have people who have quirks in their circle though right you got a best friend that has a quirk. have a quirk you know because you got to be protected somehow absolutely keep that thing on that's right um all times overall you know the movie is an adventure it is one and uh it's over it might be over an hour and a half it's definitely over an hour it's like 145 bro something like that absolutely i like it though dude i I like the movie i thought it was cool it was fun it's definitely something i want to see in theaters um so make sure you guys go out and see it in theaters when it comes out october 29th i'll put a lot of Uh, my money up on it now that we out of the spoiler free zone we are officially leaving the spoiler free zone if you got what you needed if you want to go see this movie hit up fandango i'm sure funimation.com will also forward you to how you see the movie i'm sure any other place will forward you how to see the movie but if you have not seen the movie yet and you want to come back to this when you have please note that we are leaving the spoiler free territory right so, now so we're talking about it now. Is a chance to turn back don't stay around and say i can't believe they spoiled the movie for me <laughs> we are giving you proper warning this has been 15 seconds of stalling and a warning about telling you about spoilers we're about to spoil this movie right now okay all right all right <sighs> okay Let me loosen up a little bit um i'll be honest with you so i'm traveling baby we're traveling, traveling. We traveling. We traveling. I, I, this this movie for me i think this highest points like i talked about earlier was the action and i think that when i talk about some of the best fights that you're gonna have throughout this entire year i think that De- i think bakugo's fight is actually probably the best fight of the entire year or one of the best okay. fights of the entire year okay. Okay, against the little chain. How about I say chain user? Little chain guy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say chain user. Uh, it is by far the best fight in this motherfucker, bro. I thought yeah. it was the hardest. It's probably the hardest I've seen Baku go like on some just like. Oh, okay. he going. He's going like to the point where you know he's outnumbered. I don't know if it was like a clone situation or if there was just two. They don't really. I don't think they really specified. But anyways. He had to go against mm-hmm. two of these motherfuckers, and they're pretty strong. They were also off that stuff, okay? Mm-hmm. And Bakugo mm-hmm. was literally giving them everything, also using techniques. I love the little grenades and, and against the wall, made it explode. I thought that was awesome. And then, you know, his little power up. at the, I mean, it's just really, really fun, explosive stuff. The shirt torn up and blood all over. You know, he coughing up blood and shit. It was wild, bro. It was wild. I thought it was really impressive. And yeah, it's probably the best fight. Probably the best fight. Absolutely. Ever. Um, Todoroki comes in second and then Deku comes last for various reasons. But we'll get back to, we'll that, get to that when we yeah. talk about this movie. <laughs> Let's talk about the beginning of this movie, which I thought was also some sick shit. The movie <laughs> kicked off with this terrorist <laughs> attack that um, gas shows up through this entire city and starts like 
people are, do people start manifesting quirks or do our quirks just start I, going out of control? I, yo, think, I don't know which one it was. I just know the first guy got turned into a fucking turtle. And I felt really bad <laughs> for him. Like, I was just like, okay. Because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know if they were just going to be killed. or they, But the, I saw, I was like, oh, they're turning everybody into an animal. That's weird. But, like, it wasn't that. That dude just happened to turn into a turtle. This was like... When they talked about terrorist attack, I was like, yo, they went all in for it now, because that is a terrorist attack. The way they open that movie, they don't usually open movies like this, to be honest with you. No, it was Especially- full, full-fledged. Full-fledged terrorist yeah. attack. And then the one guy that survives, they, uh, oh, congratulations, you just watched everyone else die. You've been chosen. <laughs> come, <laughs> come with us. <laughs> um, clearly the quirkless society of you, You're, you have no quirk. Come yeah. with us. You'll enjoy it here. Um, and for some reason now, in response to this terrorist attack that has happened, the Japanese bureaus. <laughs> That's right. Not the, should we call them the European force of heroes? Should we call them the American heroes? Should we call them the South African heroes? Nah, the Japanese, Japanese. heroes are all around the world. I guess because this is a a, a, a crisis that affects the world. The, hence world, world the UN came together. <laughs> And it said, we need heroes. Call them we all need up. heroes. Especially them Japanese ones. Yeah. Make sure you get a couple of them. Um, <laughs> They're the so strongest. Everyone who has, I think uh, mostly everyone. I think the only people who aren't featured in... Ida isn't in this movie. I He's saw on a couch. I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what what doing? Ida is in this movie. A couple other people. But they got... You know, listen... They got the big teams. They had um, they had Asui, Uraraka, Kirishima. Um, I think I saw who else did I see? Momo. I think mm-hmm. I feel like Momo was there. Momo. Momo's there. Um, couple other people. Also, let's talk about this in the beginning of this. The little tease at the beginning. So you know how we've been getting a lot of promotional material with them in the suits, mm-hmm. and they in the suits for only the first six That's minutes. That's it, bro. Movie. You know, I'm glad. I'm I'm so glad because I was gonna bring it up as well. Why'd they do that, bro? Because the suits are hard. I think they jump out the damn. Did they jump out the plane with them and do their action scenes? Yeah. And I was about Listen, it. Yeah, bye bye suits. If you love them suits, I mean, it'd be great cosplay. But at the end of the day, they were in it. six minutes of the movie. Um, so they're brought to the fictional European city of Othion, which Othion. is wild. I. I love a good fictional city. What a, what a name for a European I'm, city. I'm from a real country. <laughs> they yeah. come from a real country. But I have to go to a you know, fictional European city, Othion. Othion. Uh, to essentially find out the headquarters of the person who is trying to do all this stuff. And they barge in and they don't really see anyone. And But they know that there are certain things that they have to look out for mm-hmm. now in the midst of this deku manages to stumble onto the movie exclusive character roddy <laughs> why you say it like that because he <laughs> the movie exclusive character there roddy, is all right roddy? So, is it i thought it's roadie right roadie 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 what was his last name i don't remember <laughs> Rody, all right, my hero. Academia. It was something unique. Rody Soul. Rody Soul. That's it. That's it. The Soul family. <laughs> um, you know why I say it's so heavy movie exclusive character? Because I remember the first movie where we meet. I mean, they go across the world to America and meet the scientist who was the sidekick for, um, for All Might. All Might. And you're like, oh, they could incorporate that in the anime. That would be cute if they, you know, she shows up in the anime a little bit later on. She doesn't show up. But, I mean, that would be cute. I mean, the possibility is there. In the second movie, you have, like, Nine, for instance, who has a little bit of all-for-one in him. And he has, and he's like, you know what? He might show, he could show up. I mean, he's probably not going to show up, but he could show up in the show if he really, really want. If all-for-one really needed him on Deki. He could pop up. He could pop up. Yeah. Rody Soul. Rody Soul. Not a chance in hell he's popping up. Damn. No. You know what's crazy? 
I mean, I just love that his court. Usually, they'd invite him back to school, man. Hey, come come to school with us. Lead this country, bro. Pull up. Man. Not even <laughs> Ophion. And, and they were like, mm, you know what? You keep that shit over here. We, they need you. He's 16 years old. He is. He's born February 13th. So he's an Aquarius. We love that. We love, we love that. We love that over here. He's part of the soul family. Yeah. He has a little brother and a little sister. And he commits crimes because he has to. <laughs> <laughs> For the from sake the bottom of his... right now. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get it done. So he's sent to give this briefcase to somebody. And Deku's essentially like, yo, why are you running? <laughs> They're like, yo, stop this guy. And Deku's like, oh, a villain or something along those lines. I must chase them. So he chases them down. I think they stopped the other two villains that Todoroki and Bakugo stopped the other two villains. But he's after Rody Soul. And Rody Soul doing all types of flips and dances and tricks and you know, falling from the sky and doing all this other stuff like that. And they stop him. Police run up on them. Um, but now, police, Deku's like, yo, why y'all... <laughs> Deku approaches the cops. The cops is like, "Yo, stop!" And they got their you know guns out and all this other right. stuff. And Deku, yo, why y'all trying to shoot him? Like he's just <laughs> <didn't> relaxing. <laughs> you know why? He, he hasn't really done anything wrong. And they're like, "Yo, you put your hand down too." And then he's like, "Oh, nah, <laughs> I got black cork. I don't need this, yeah, man." Don't worry about this <laughs> shit, man. Why y'all doing this? So he escapes, and that is how Deku becomes the national terrorist of this entire movie. They, they, said, they said my man had, was up for mass murder, bro. The police are corrupted in this Corrupt. movie because Fleck, Fleck turns people has also invaded the police department of this fictional city. Um, my hero telling so, it all. Deku, listen, Deku and Rhodey now have to escape to a, the nearby country so they aren't killed or caught by the police. But they also have something, you know, a briefcase, which is lit, you know, supposed to have, oh, what's this going to have? Diamonds, quirk bullets, <laughs> types of stuff. Uh, just a bunch of papers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what this shit is. But they eventually find out. I mean, the you know, I, so from here, the plot is very, uh, I'm like, oh, okay, all right. When does it turn up? Like that's what I was kept saying. I was like, okay, when does it turn up? Like where where do we? Yeah, what are you, what are we getting to? Like what does it all mean right yeah. now? But nah, they just on the run, so they're on the run the entire OTR on the run for pretty much a majority of this movie. Um, at least the first half, the first two acts of this movie, they're you know trying to escape. They go to nearby towns. There's little disguises. Just leaving There's caves. A musical number. Musical number. Yeah, just a little one. I just respect a little it. One. I was like, okay, it's a movie. <laughs> you gotta give us one, at least. <laughs> um, we learn eventually. I mean, here's the thing. It would have I. So they see the report that Deku's like this national terrorist. The thing is, like, no one truly believes it. Like no one who actually is close to him, and on, and the only re, only people who are close to Deku in this particular city are Endeavor, Bakugo, and Todoroki, because all the other heroes were sent to various other countries to do various other things. Right. So it's World Hero Missions. It's all over the world, but it's really focused on this place because Deku's there. So eventually, Bakugo and Todoroki find Deku. Um, and they're like, "Yo, what have you been doing, man? You've been running, you've been on the loose, and all the j- jibber jabber and stuff like that." And they knock something in this damn briefcase, and they find like the jump drive or something. Yeah, that was a really dope scene, by the way. Like the, the fight scene leading to that moment. Um, it was really, really good. Again, the fight scenes in this movie, top notch. Yeah, they go, they go a lot of destruction too. You get a lot of, a lot of dust. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of a lot of cliffs being broken. It's a it's a really good action. You clearly see where the animation budget for season five went. Yeah, yeah, and there you, go. you called it. I didn't really notice until you said that, but yeah, you're spot on with that shit. It was like, man, look, but that's still, what he tied but still, up. Great fights, great action. Um, 
they learn the history of what they learn what's on this thing and essentially it's the flash drive to stop all these bombs from going off in various cities because yeah. that's what flecturn has flecturn is like listen y'all got i don't even know what the time was y'all got a couple hours before i let go all these bombs in the city and everyone quirks start going bananas you know is that what you want <laughs> and the only place yeah yeah yeah. the only place to stop it is to obviously go to the headquarters to stop it which is in some you know you know villain headquarters some cliff or some (laughs) underground what what did bakugo say he was like it's the only place they're not they're not launching an attack from (laughs) it's like okay good job bro (laughs) i'm glad you got that logic man logic Um, so all three of them, not Endeavor, by the way. Endeavor does not go with them. This is another case of the movies. Where See, the this Endeavor. is what I be talking about, bro. I'm staying oh, out with it. You guys really are heroes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, bro. Yeah. So Endeavor and them, they got to like, they got to figure out what they're doing in their own part. It's like Endeavor is like, yo, I'll, ch- I'll fall back. You guys go find Deku or something along those lines. But then the kids are like, actually, we're going to go infiltrate this thing ourselves. And we don't need Endeavor or any of the adults or anything. Or rather. Um, and they go in and they got to fight all the villains that are leading up outside. And these people have quirks or maybe they don't have quirks. Some of them do. Some of them don't. Um, it is what it is. Good luck. They're fighting their way through in. So Bakugo takes the people on the outside, and then I think Todoroki takes one layer inside, and then of course Deku reaches the big bad mm-hmm. Flecturn. Flecturn. Bunch His of, quirk is fucking mirrors all over the place. He reflects everything. <laughs> I mean that he reflects everything, guys. Everything. He flexes everything. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> He flexes everything. He re- everything, every attack that you have gets launched back at you, which I was like, oh, that's not okay. Well, I guess we haven't had that. Yeah. It's a walking that's... trap card. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Mirror Force. Uh, and then Rhodey, who was captured by the villains at some point because he is his dad's son, and we learned about the dad's history that the dad was some scientist who's pressured to make all these evil things to kill him and then they kill his dad for essentially insubordination of trying to stop them while also working for them or something of the rather um and we learned that his dad dies or at least he learned that his dad dies did you ever think did you ever think the boss was the dad at any point or no you were like nah could have been could have been, but you know what? I think they're done with the double switch thing after that first movie. Yeah, that's real. The first movie where the where the 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 hero was the villain, and then he got shot by the actual villain. <laughs> um, so I I think they're done with that. Uh, but Rhodey manages to infiltrate, and we learn about what Rhodey's quirk is. And Rhodey's quirk is um that little bird the little bird <laughs> the little bird shows his true emotions that's why he can technically never really lie and he is true intention you know he was a little bit embarrassed by the quirk sure who wouldn't be the quirk the little animal's named pino which is hilarious. pino sounds just like tokopi and it really pissed me off that was probably the worst part about the movie i'm here to say that <laughs> i mean it sounds literally just like tokopi Pino has a Pino is actually I think it does stand for something. Um, let me see. Okay, all right. Well, don't look on Urban Dictionary, but um, Pino <laughs> stands. You know, he shows the re- real emotions of Rody and you know Rody Soul and all this other stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's a great. It's a once we get to the end, Rhodey ends up saving the day. Deku manages to overcome everything, kind of mm-hmm. in a way, and everything is wrapped up in nice little bow. And it's a great feeling that you have towards the end of the movie. I thought overall it gave me a great feeling towards the end. Um, the heroes that you wanted to see get thing, all the bombs get stopped, but then you get to see glimpses of the other heroes in other countries yeah, and trying to stop them. Yeah. You see, actually. A number of the heroes they just introduced within the recent manga chapters are featured in this movie, which That's is crazy. wild. Isn't the, just the other seeing them, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I saw them, I was like, oh, I big popped. I was like, whoa. Um, there's a there's a hero. I think his name is called Red Dot. Mm. Um, and he was just introduced within the latest chapters of the manga, but he's in this movie. And wow. then of course they have Zillow appearance. I, I popped big for yeah, Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. I got I got your text. I got your text. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this thing watching, watching. Godzilla, baby, come on. Um, but you know, it's a. I think overall the movie is, it's great. It's really, it's, it's really fun. It's really fun. I it's think it's fun. a good watch, especially because like, the last forty five minutes is action. Yeah, it stands alone because truly, unlike the, of course, we've gotten so much used to now that, you know that Demon Slayer has broken the mold and the canon movies. Um, we are there. We are there. So there's a lot of stakes in this movie but the stakes don't actually apply to the actual real thing no one dies all this movie takes place within the within the realm of the actual season of the show so nothing can really be killed or nothing can really be brought back so um blood though lots of blood lots, lots of, of blood, blood. Guys. Yeah. listen the fights between gosh i wish i had all the things here but obviously they don't spoil the movie yet on all the synopsis and stuff however um the fights are really good Todoroki's fight is really good Deku's fight is really good and Baku's fight Bakugo's fight they is the have, best like really great individual things that, and they're all different from each other none of them in the same way which is nice it's not corny you know right uh, it's it's all and like this, them reaching a new limit to their powers too which is really dope right and this is kind of the first movie that really it did feel like a movie don't get me wrong it felt like a true movie. It's just the fact that um, there are no like external stakes from this movie. Mm-hmm. Like it's over. Which it's done. Problem. Yeah, it's it's just over. It's done. Uh, none of these villains are going to be brought back. None of these things are going to be brought back. But overall, I think it was an enjoyable experience. And if you go see this in theaters, I think it was designed for theaters just based on the choreography of the fights. The amount of effort they put into these fights yes. the animation budget that went into this um the choreography of the fights very fluid um yeah, they, they did a beautiful job tell, telling the story that they had to tell and the best part about it is you know when they leave to go their separate ways it feels like the, a proper ending you know like it, it it makes sense it's like okay i don't there's nothing else i need from this you know, like right. you got everything that you needed in the hour 40, 45, and it made sense. Um, yeah, that was and important. Little boy's life. This obviously roadies. That's right. Deku made it, made it, made, it, made a change. Yeah. So real hero stuff, man. Real big hero stuff. World hero missions for me. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's quite an experience. It's an experience. I think if you want to go see it in theaters, I d- definitely recommend go seeing it in theaters. Um, but I think everyone, especially if you're looking for action within the My Hero Academia thing, which um, I think we got a lot of in season five, but you, maybe if you didn't get enough of, uh, I mean, the, the top three, you definitely want to see this movie right. because I've, I've been touting it, but the action of this movie is probably... I mean, they do well with all movies, but I think we haven't really seen Bakugo, Todoroki, and Deku being really highlighted. The spotlight. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no one to save them. There's no one to. There's nothing. It's all on them, which is amazing. It's a great development. It is. Uh, any final words about the movie, sir? Um, I mean, I, I think they, I think they wrap it up very well. Um. You know, I think it's interesting. I think you can watch this even if you're not into my hero or never seen it. Actually, I think you could turn this on. And be like, that was fun. I, I think that was kind of like the the big thing I got from it was it. Like you said, it felt like a movie. And to me, what that translates to is anybody could watch it. Um, and mm-hmm. I, I kind of feel like that's the difference between this and the Demon Slayer movie. Even I, I feel like the Demon Slayer movie is just going to work more episodic. Um, and we discussed that too when we spoke about it and I, I, I think you can't just throw anybody on that they would kind of be like you know like it's a lot to invest in 
This is it's fun. You know what? It's clean. I have people though with the Demon Slayer movie. They started with the movie, and then I was like, "Oh, I should get into the series." Really? Damn, I, dude! I hey, I could I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. That shit's heavy, bro. Yeah, <laughs> this shit is heavy. It's, things happened in the movie. That's why I wouldn't recommend it doing it the other way. <laughs> I would yeah. recommend it watching the movie. Yeah. The things happen in that has a large impact on the movie that you probably it's just so heavy yeah you could turn this shit on and be like oh this is an anime movie you know i don't know what the series is but it works absolutely um again uh this is my hero i think you said it great where this this movie feels like a movie and then also feels like if you're not even a fan of the my hero academia series or you haven't watched it yet you could plop yourself into this movie and kind of understand everything that's going on the character they play out who's important they give you a lot of different options for a lot of different heroes that you see throughout this entire movie mm -hmm. you still get the Chaco and asui you still get the kirishima you still get hawks within this movie um albeit they're not featured as heavy as deku in this movie deku is probably in most of the scenes in this movie compared to everybody else it is a good movie it is a good movie so i'll you know i'll leave it at like that um Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for Funimation for allowing us to sort of uh, yes, yes, access very the movie. this early bird review. Mm -hmm. um, if you see the movie, feel free to hit us up at the lookout on RNC on Twitter and let us know what you think. Or hit myself up at, you know, Meals TV and Jeff at Old Newsboy and let us know what you thought about the movie. Um, it comes out, of course, this Friday, October 29th, um, in theaters everywhere. Let's continue to support anime movies please, so they can please. get made and we can continue to get them in America and we don't have to wait 17 months for the dub. Yeah, that's right. Um, or at least any type of show, not even just the dub, any type of showing in America. We don't have to wait 17 months. Let's continue to make anime movies, you know, popular. There's another one coming out. I think the One Piece movie is coming out soon. Yes. Make yes. sure you support that as well. Um, and, and, you know, we got a we got a lot of stuff on the horizon so make sure you continue to support anime stuff um especially in america and these movies and stuff so we can continue getting them um very important and yeah that's all i gotta say follow the lookout rnc um don't meet us there beat us there yeah we'll be back next time take care